more about the weather around. Finds where it's snowing again this morning throughout North Dakota and northwestern Minnesota. Some spots, maybe another three, four, five, or six more inches by later on this evening. It was colder for sure earlier this morning throughout Texas, but not so bad with some cloud cover developing with a brand new storm system from Phoenix over towards, let's say, Albuquerque, New Mexico, a little bit cooler throughout California, and not too bad throughout the eastern seaboard. We saw a sloppy mess earlier this morning with temperatures hovering right around that freezing mark or above. You can see in Boston, Mass, this morning you got down to 37. It was down to only 33 in New York City with that wet snow coming down. And for much of the country, it wasn't all that bad. Still a little bit down the cool side in Atlanta, 45. But now it looks like the fog is beginning to break along with some of the cloud cover. Here's a look at some of the current numbers. 40 degrees in Boston, Mass. We thought there could be some snow up your way today. That is not going to happen. It's going to be a total miss for Boston, Mass itself. You'll be looking at some cloud cover, some breaks in the overcast this afternoon. The snow has almost come to an end around New York City. We'll have more in that situation at the top of the hour, too. And looking back towards the west, some of the current readings throughout the Plain States, it could be worse for this time of the year, but it isn't. Chicagoland, 42 degrees. Denver, 30. Look at the western seaboard where it was windy yesterday. A couple of showers were in San Francisco, California. But it's going to be dry today. But for the Pacific Northwest, a brand new trough of pressure will be organizing there later this weekend and a much better chance of rainfall there, too. It looks like by Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and that rain could stick around for several days there. Here's a look at our current weather map. Developing storm throughout the Rockies, looking at some light to moderate snow from Bismarck into eastern Montana. But the main feature this morning has been low pressure, which is beginning to weaken now and move away from the coast. That's the great news. Snow is almost over with now for New York City. If you live north and west of New York itself, you saw anywhere between three, four, five, and some locations up to six inches of snowfall, but the worst of the system is now over with. There was a bad ice storm, too, throughout central uh, Pennsylvania, especially in the valleys around Altoona and Johnstown, getting up towards uh, Penn State. But overall now, it looks like the worst of that is gone. And if you're, uh, looks like the worst we can do right now is look at maybe another inch of snowfall here during the next 24 hours. Next story to talk about is going to be this storm system. It's going to crank up some more snows for the Colorado Rockies. And for Texas, maybe some welcome rainfall. Looking at near drought conditions throughout much of the state right now, near record drought conditions. And you can see right around Dallas, should be close to six and a half inches of rainfall, only three and a half so far. And maybe our next storm will bring some more welcome rainfall your way within the next 24 to 48. Now the weekend weather picture. And this weekend outlook is sponsored by Preen and Preen and Green, America's favorite garden weed preventer from Greenview. Let's show you what's going to be happening this weekend. At least it's going to be spring-like temperature-wise throughout the southern tier of states. If it's going to be colder, it's going to be developing from the Rockies and also from the Northern Plains, beginning to spread down southward all weekend long. Looks like Minneapolis, 30 degree temperatures on Sunday. That could be heading towards Milwaukee, Chicago, Rockford, maybe Detroit by Monday, and heading towards parts of New England too early next week. But the deep south will not be cooling down you know, dramatically at all for the next several days, even though you will be looking at some cloud cover and a better chance of rainfall too. Our western storm will be cranking its way eastward by Saturday afternoon. Could be looking at some rainfall by night from Atlanta to Nashville to let's say Evansville, Indiana. Looks like the best chance of rainfall for the deep south and eastern seaboard. Saturday night into Sunday, and that system will be rolling its way on northeastward by early next week. The Michelin Drivers Report is coming up next. Okay, you just... It's real sloppy right now. Most of it's in the form of rain mixing with some snowfall. The sleet is almost gone. And back towards the west where we're looking at some warmer temps, we're actually looking at some rain from Buffalo to around just to the west of Columbus, Ohio. And some of that will be scattered about there through this afternoon. Look at the snowy travel beginning to develop. That's going to stick around North Dakota, northwestern Minnesota and that could become locally heavy through early on this evening. Otherwise, you'd be looking at some more rain dotting the landscape. Watch out for some thunderstorms that could be developing later on today across the plains. The latest on our snowstorm for the Northeast, next. Presenting the ultimate tire for your sport utility vehicle.